she'll pick things up for me, open and close doors, turn off and on lights, get the phone. I've trained her to take off my jacket. She's just trained by pads for about a, a year and a half she was trained. So even when I came in here today to visit you guys, she would push the automatic buttons, wow. all of them to come into the doors. Very practical, very helpful, and also a great <laughs> companion. As you can see, she loves interacting with other people. To alert somebody, they usually jump on you. And you don't want, when she's big, you don't want her jumping on you. How, how would a dog help somebody who's hard of hearing? They alert, so they'll come in and, um, and like if the baby cries or if the doorbell rings or the fire alarm or the smoke alarm, or they come and let you know. And you got to commit to to going to class once a week. Well, class is really for us more so than the dogs because that's where we learn. That's where they train the trainers, so to speak. And uh, also, it gives the head trainers to see how far along the dogs are. The best approach is to just get the next puppy before you give the older one up because it's a, it's a good thing for the young pup to have an older mentor. Yeah. Plus also when you give the older one up, then you have someone that you absolutely need to focus on. It's just that he's pretty slow to develop. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a late bloomer. And, well, he's actually climbing on you right now. So we get a litter of puppies. You get a litter of puppies. Yeah, oh, like one puppy's not enough. <laughs> I think I'll just collect puppies. <laughs>